Hello, I'm Karak Ngara, and I want to welcome you to the first of a new series for me. This is my Crimson Dust Project series, and I call it that because I've been calling my creative mode testing world the Crimson Dust Project for the last few years. And what this series is going to be focusing on is working with redstone devices. In this episode, we are looking at the minecart unloading systems. So for as long as I've been playing Minecraft, this has been the simple Minecraft unload or not Minecraft, Minecart unloader. And this thing works amazingly well. It's great. It's very simple. But in 1.14.1, it suddenly stopped working. The minecart should come up here, stop on top of this power rail, and empty its contents into this chest. But instead, just the hoppers pulling out one or two at a time and putting it in the chest. And this comparator here is never reading the hoppers got something in it. So that's been something that's changed that's very minor in the code. I don't know if I'd call it a bug, but it is definitely a change. So I have made my own version, and this thing works amazingly. It also will work in any version that has these features or items and it's one of the most important things when I built it is I wanted it to be entirely one block wide and tileable which means that I can build another one right here and here and here and all of them will work perfectly. So if I flick the switch to send over the minecart real quick it's got a stack of anvils in it and what's happening is the minecart's driving on top of this detector rail right here and this comparator is reading the contents of the minecart on this detector rail. And then as soon as it empties its inventory, it goes back over and speeds on its way. So again, you can see there's a new stack of anvils in there. Uh, the detector pushes power into this block right here, which shuts off the torch, which takes power away from this repeater and retracts this redstone block. When the redstone block retracts, it closes this fence gate, and that traps this minecart here for a moment until it's unloaded. And then the power reverses, the piston pushes back out and opens up the fence gate. The rate that the hopper minecart is unloaded is the rate of the hopper right here, which is about 2.5 items per second. And if you need a faster unloading, I created a faster version that I'll show you here in just one second. I just want to make one more note about this design. This hopper right here does nothing. It does not collect up the items. They're all collected out of this hopper right here and put directly into this chest. But if this hopper is not here, it won't work. The second faster version that I made here, and it uses this hopper minecart hidden underneath the ground inside of those blocks to pull items out of this hopper minecart at super quick speeds. The hopper minecarts pull items out. Yeah, you can see how fast that was. That was just two stacks of anvils. The hopper minecart pulls out items at a rate of about 20 blocks per second. And then these two hoppers right here pull blocks out from this hopper minecart's inventory and feed it directly into this chest. Aside from that, this thing is exactly the same circuit. So I'm going to show you how to build up the other one and how to build up this little section right here. Okay, we're going to start off with making the simple one all the way through, and then I'll show you how to make a start on the faster one right over there. So to start off, we need to get some power rails going in here. And I'm using a redstone block, but any means of powering this power rail will work just fine. And then we have to have one power rail in between there and where the hoppers go in order to avoid powering the hopper because we don't want to power the hopper that would lock the hopper and keep it from working. We then want to put in a chest with a hopper feeding into the back of it and another hopper feeding into that first hopper. Throw down a power rail on top of that hopper, a detector rail on top of the second hopper, a block against the detector rail, we need to throw any type of rail on top of the block real quick just to get this detector rail coming up at an angle. And that's very important for making this all work. And then feeding out of the back of this block, we want a detector and 
with a block in front of that, and a redstone torch on the other side of the block. Then we're going to put a, red, a block on top of the redstone torch, a repeater reading the block, and then if you come around to the other side here, you can throw down... That's not the right block. You can throw down a piston on the repeater, and you can do that just by shift, holding shift and clicking on the edge of the repeater right there. And then a redstone block on the head of the piston, and finally your fence gate on the head of the redstone block. All right, now if we send a minecart on its way, it comes over here, starts collecting up all the items out of the minecart hopper. Okay, now to make the faster version, we're going to need to go down an extra block down. And I'm just going to throw out a... Wait, this side. I'm going to throw out a temporary block right there. And then put down my chest, which is just representing where my inventory is, or my hopper is feeding into. Place a hopper on the back of each block of the chest facing into the chest. And then on the left side, you want to put down your iron bars. On the right side, you want to put down your rail. And this rail is facing towards the chest. You want it to face across the hopper. So I just threw down the other temporary rail right here so that I could change the orientation of this rail. Then put back the iron bar, toss your minecart hopper down, and step in here with the minecart hopper and press back up against this wall. And it'll push the minecart hopper forward. Let's make sure he's all the way forward. Okay, good. All right, now we can break back out that iron bar and the rail. And I like using glass so that I can see the minecart hopper, but just put two pieces of glass above it. Oh, there's my piston. It's all the way to the back. All right, and then if you step down here inside the hole on top of the chest, it's really easy to place those pistons. Then we just need to power the pistons. I'm using sticky pistons, so I have to break them first. And there you go. Now you want to throw down your block of redstone right here, or whatever other means of powering it that you use. And you're, you only need two old or two power rails in this version, where the other version needs three. And then your detector rail, your block, and just keep building it the rest of it as I showed before. And then that'll end up looking just like this. Thank you for watching my simple minecart unloading video, and I hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more great content in the future, think about subscribing to my channel. And if you've been following my recent farming videos, uh, this circuit will work great. Just a simple version right here works great to replace the circuit that broke in that video. Until I see you again, have fun gaming!